Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, hope you're doing very well. So today I'm here to do a sit down and chatty video, so if you couldn't tell by the title, uh, basically I want to just have a talk about my rosacea because really it's unavoidable <laughs> to talk about it to be honest because it's something that you see at the beginning of every video, like every video where I don't have any makeup on. You see my red face, I have dealt with it every day for the past four years um, and yeah I just thought I would talk about it a little bit more. I have done a few videos already speaking about it but today I wanted to do like 10 things that I wish I knew before I had it if that makes any sense because I know a lot of people do things I wish I knew before this and this and that and of course when it comes to something like a skin condition it's very difficult to um, actually understand um, anything about it because skin is so complicated I, I I mean I don't even know everything about rosacea and I've had it for four years and it's just a topic that I always want to learn about um, because obviously it does affect me greatly and um, yeah I just thought I would talk about that today the only makeup I have on is like my lip is basically the the Soph Does Life uh, lip kit that she came out of recently because I thought let's just put something on my lips to kind of brighten <laughs> brighten things up there instead of just me looking all hot and flushed. So the first thing that I wanted to kind of the first thing I wish I knew I have it all written down by the way so I'm looking down sorry um, what it was. So when I first got the kind of first indication of getting it what I'll do I'll put up some pictures of myself um I'm always happy to share like my kind of journey the ups and downs of my rosacea so when I first got it I noticed that there was like a little red patch on my skin that was kind of burning and I was like I have no idea what that is and mainly because prior to that I'd been kind of experimenting a bit with my skincare so I was kind of like I really want to look after my skin because I enjoy makeup but I need to enjoy the skincare part of it as well because when you take off your makeup your skin is obviously still there and it's still being affected by the repercussion of having like a you know a weird substance on your face um, and so I thought let's try different skincare products and then I don't know if it was that that kind of triggered it off for me um, and then when it got worse the doctor I went to the doctor and she said oh, I was rosacea and I was like I have no idea what you're talking about and again when it comes to skin conditions there's so many out there um, that not everyone knows about and especially when it comes to something like this I've never encountered someone who deals with rosacea or um, had really heard of it because even if I say it today to people they're like I have no idea what that is <laughs> and I had to do my own research because the doctor basically did not really tell me um, what it was so she just kind of said like oh here's some medication and be on your way and stay out of the sun and so of course I had to do my own research but when it comes to certain things um, like this where not many people know about it there's no cure for it there's no kind of way to control it as much um i just wish i kind of knew about it so i was you know when they told me i was a bit prepared but because i didn't know <laughs> i was getting it um i guess i couldn't have been that prepared so number two is it avoidable um and i guess when it comes to something like rosacea they say it's hereditary um and i believe that my granddad had it so he used to have a lot of it on his nose and i just thought it was dry skin because he was obviously quite old um, and but I remember growing up and him having a lot of kind of red around here and of course because I didn't know what it was I was going to be like oh yeah I'll get that in the future because absolutely no one else in my family has it. Um, I'm the only person, I'm the only kind of unlucky person to be dealing with this which you know that's just, that's just, it, that's just it really, that's just my life but um, is it avoidable? I don't know what I could have done differently apart from maybe not experimenting <laughs> with my skincare but I still do that now like I still experiment with my skincare because I can't use certain things and I try to avoid a lot of things that I know would make it worse so at the moment I do use obviously a lot of fragrance free things when it comes to my skincare I use stuff specifically for sensitive skin because I can't use something for normal to normal to normal skin really because I need to have things in there that are not gonna 
itch it or make it a bit more flared up so I can't do like clay face masks or you know certain vitamins on my face because I just feel that they'll flare up um, but I guess the more research I'm doing the more I know about it so that's like the whole answer <laughs> to most of these questions um, so number three what are the triggers and this is something that I deal with a lot because on the NHS website it says oh triggers the sun alcohol spicy food blah 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 and i i know for sure that the sun does make me feel it makes me feel worse but that doesn't necessarily mean it makes my skin worse there's days when i feel like it it's faded so much like at the moment this is an okay day this is an okay day as well this red dot here is there like permanently i don't know if that is just like the blood that has built up but I have certain areas around here where it clears up and then the next day it comes back so I need to kind of figure out what my triggers are um when it comes to spicy food I've grown up with spicy food my whole life my mom is <laughs> my mom is the most amazing cook but sometimes she does like to burn our mouths off but I know for sure that is not a trigger of mine um and even today I'm still trying to figure out what my triggers are but you know when I went for um last like two weeks ago I went for um a consultation at the skin clinic in Holborn and that was one of the reasons why I was feeling just really low the past few weeks um I talked about it in my beauty bay haul because I I said that I was having a really bad day and I ordered some makeup and that was the main reason towards it but I have um an appointment on Tuesday where I am going to be seeing a doctor about my uh, my rosacea and I'm going to see if they can just recommend me anything even though I kind of know what they will recommend me even though I won't go for it but I know that if I go to this consultation they might give me some kind of closure as to what is happening with my skin uh, so I will maybe do another video of, after Tuesday after my um consultation and see what they say if there's any update if there's if you don't see a video about me talking about it then there was no really major update but um yeah let's go on to the next thing so the effects of it and I'm talking mentally and physically so I wish I knew <laughs> how badly it would affect my mental health and this is me being 100% like obviously I, I I'm just myself on this channel and every time I talk about my rosacea and how much it affects me um it really makes me feel like shit because i it just like i said when it affects me mentally it's i have to wake up every morning looking at myself in the mirror i have comments from people um who don't really know how to keep quiet about things and i'm not shading anyone or any you know just anyone but it's just in general when people don't understand to not push things and that's just in life to be honest I think some people just don't understand to have an off button um, and when it comes to physicality obviously it has affected my face I pick my skin a lot like I'm really sorry if you don't want to hear that sorry but this is just how it is I have a really bad tendency to pick my face and I know and I can see it when I when I have my good days for example I can see on my skin like the, the scarring but behind my spots because that's what it does. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear any noise outside. There's a football match on today and I live right next to Wembley, so it's gonna be noise, I apologize. <laughs> I'm gonna try and talk over it. Um, but yeah, when, when I'm talking about men the trick, like, you know, the kind of effects I am talking about, physical and mental, and it is something that I believe does trigger the depression and the anxiety that I have because when I'm walking around outside I know these days I wear a mask but sometimes if I'm just kind of walking down the road if I don't want to wear a mask for like 10 minutes because I'm fully vaccinated I know that's not the point but even if I'm just walking down the street and you just see people like like I've had that all my life anyway because of the way I dress and just the way I look and even now because of this it's exacerbated by like 10 times um but I wish I I mean when it comes to wishing I knew these things it's something that is unprecedented because sometimes you can have a positive effect from people that say it doesn't I don't care whatever I mean the only person that I care who says it is my husband and he's always telling me how it 
he doesn't really mean he only cares about how I feel and he's always tells me how beautiful I look which you know I appreciate and things like that and it never I mean it does it still does affect me no matter what uh, no matter what mood I'm in but um yeah I just kind of wish I had an inkling how it would make me feel in that sense um and let's go on to so I keep on looking down um how to deal with my mental and physical health I mean that was that's kind of like number four. I don't know why I wrote that twice. I think the effects of it is kind of more um, making sure that I don't make it worse. Again, by picking my skin, which does make it worse. Using products on there that will make it worse as well. But like I've mentioned, there I've experimented with so many different skincare things um that have always been okay for me but has it got rid of it no because there's nothing that is going to get rid of it for me um it's just things that will make me feel like i'm having a good day or maybe make the spots go away because the spots are continuous there's something that are always going to be there because i have that type of rosacea um which i did mention in one of my last videos about rosacea i've like i mentioned i've done like two or three um so yeah that is that as well um what helps yeah do we know what helps it i mean i've had i've been on about three courses of antibiotics and it has helped but your body can literally not live on antibiotics and no matter how many times someone say i'll oh, just go back to your doctor and get these i can't live on antibiotics you know how unhealthy that is for your body to continuously be dependent on this one drug that your body becomes used to so therefore the effects become pointless um like the use of it becomes pointless basically because your body is so used to the intake of it and then after a while that the use of it just kind of wears off um so again and that the skincare i mean i try and use spf even though in london the weather is always very hit and miss um every time i go outside when it is a really hot day I wear my mask now, even though if I'm just going outside to check my post box or something like that, you know, I just, I just do feel really, that's how self-conscious I feel about it as well, about just making sure it doesn't get worse, even though it might not help. <laughs> so, um, how to deal with comments. So this goes again with the, the kind of, um, the things that you don't think about because you just don't feel that people are going to be that rude towards you or that kind of forward towards you and i have spoken about it so many times on the other videos about the comments that people make uh like they just assume that they know what i'm going through because they have an opinion so if someone when when i used to work in lush and then there were days when obviously that was way this is way before we had to wear masks before covid um and i was having like if i did an early shift i was like i'm not gonna wear makeup because i don't want to get up an extra 45 minutes early to put on a face if i'm getting up at seven or anything you know like that um and i would you know start my day and the customers would come in and you know i'd get comments like oh you should try this for your spots and you should try and i'm like do you even know what i have and then i've had people i had one woman at the gym to say to me oh you know that on your face is it because of you wearing a mask and i just went no it's because i have a skin condition and you know she apologized which was fine but again <laughs> i don't know i don't go up to people and say what is wrong with your face what is that on your face like okay sometimes people have growths they have birthmarks they have this you just don't go up to someone and say what is wrong with your face because to them it could be nothing like for me I know that this is there because I deal with it 24 7 and have done for the past four years and then a random person in the street just comes up to me and like what's wrong with your face and I'm like who are you <laughs> like if you were a family member or if you were you know a, f a very close friend and you wanted to know of course I would tell you because I can I have that trust that I won't be as judged, but then someone else just off the street, just, but then, you know, if you, even if you go online and there's all these people in the comments section on any video and they just comment on someone's weight, they comment on someone's look, I'm like, who are you to 
judge someone. I have never done that. I've never gone onto someone's Instagram and gone, oh my God, you look so fat today. Or, oh my God, your hair looks stupid or whatever. Like, I just don't, I don't understand the culture behind people feeling like they can bring their two pence piece. But I guess that is social media. Like if you put yourself on social media, you just know that there's going to be someone out there who will just be very rude and having to deal with comments is um i'm not saying i get any comments online but just like the real life thing that's what i mean um but just how how, how you deal with that like that's just in general because people have always judged me for what i wear like you know what the band t-shirts i wear the makeup i have my hair you know the things that i like i mean it's no one's business what i like that's just, this is me this is who i am as a person and you just have to get on with it and but i think i think because this is so different from everything else um that's probably why i kind of wanted to know how to react to it a bit better so that's something um how to explain to others what it is so again i <laughs> I've been trying these past four years to explain to people what this is and the best way that I can kind of explain it by looking at the NHS website is um, it's a skin condition that is not curable and it's a collection of your blood that's just stuck like in parts of your face it's like flushing um, it's kind of like you're blushing really but it's it's blood so you know it's, it's very di again it is very difficult to explain to people because not many people know what it is and even doctors don't even really talk about it as much because when i went for my consultation um the the consult basically said you know the nhs won't fund you for these meds because they don't see it as a priority which i understand because there's so many other conditions out there that are life-threatening this is just it's, it's not a cosmetic but it is kind of a, it's a skin condition that does affect me but it's not life-threatening so i understand in that sense where they won't pay for more funding and things like that but it's still something that can't be uh, ignored so that's why i like making these videos to talk about it i know i have a very small platform but even if one person makes a video about it and someone else is unsure if they have it or if they know someone that might have it, sorry, the noise outside, um, then it, spreading any kind of awareness is so important. So, <laughs> um, are professionals helpful? The main answer is no, mainly because the only time I've ever gotten any type of help is from my doctor years ago when they gave me the medicine or when they told me that I had um, rosacea and I've been given antibiotics for it, okay, that's fine, but have they helped me in any other way? Not really. I went to a dermatologist, I was in there for 10 minutes, this was about three years ago. I got in there and he went, yeah, just stay out of the sun and that's it. I'm sorry, <laughs> I had to pause because it was getting louder as I was uh, talking. Um, but yeah, I went to a dermatologist and he just went, stay out of the sun and that's it. <laughs> So I, I waited, you know, that was an NHS dermatologist. So now that I've gone to a paid private professional, they've just said they can't help me. So now that I have an appointment with another doctor on Tuesday, I will see if they can help me at all. Um, I'll see if they provide me with any advice on what I could do to my skin. I'm sorry, it's like one thing after another when I'm trying to film. <laughs> I swear to God. Okay, um, so yeah, I'll find out on Tuesday what they say, if they can recommend anything, and yeah, that will probably be it. So the last thing that um, I wish I knew before I had rosacea is how to spread awareness. So I had not spoken about it so long on my social media before I kind of made my channel or kind of got a bit more active on my kind of Instagram and Facebook about it. So now that I've kind of become a bit more confident talking about it and kind of slightly more understanding towards it, I feel like having a platform like this and my Instagram and, you know, using hashtags and spreading awareness is so important because there are so many people out there who are dealing with the same thing that I am, obviously in different ways because this is my experience that I'm dealing with and a lot more people have 
it very a lot of people have it differently from me really some people can have it very mildly some people can have it completely everywhere and it just be more you know a bit more painful for them or a bit more different for them but that's their story but being able to spread awareness making people understand that it's not something that we can control like I didn't wake up one morning and went yeah I'm gonna have rosacea for the rest of my life now because why not I need to be different somehow that's not how it works like if you have cosmetic surgery that's different the way that someone is gonna look at you and perceive you but having a skin condition of course is something that is beyond your control and making people aware and making people accountable for their kind of comments and actions is so important as well um, I'm gonna end the video here because the noise outside is getting worse and I've gotten through my 10 points which I feel like I hopefully have brought more awareness to this um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments I'm very happy to answer them in any way that I can um, if you want more advice there's so many social media um, kind of Instagram pages that I follow so many and actually not that many websites that I can find that talk about rosacea but you know if you are concerned maybe t please talk to your doctor because they'll be able to confirm that you have it or if you know anyone that has it and doesn't want to talk about it there's so many people online that you can talk to including myself I'm very happy to talk to uh, people about it but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you have learned something i hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe because i film and upload every time i get a chance to don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias um because i'm always active on there and yeah thank you so much for watching thank you for understanding and being so kind um and i hope you're doing well you're happy and you're healthy and i hope to see you very soon bye